Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we are going to see how to connect Apache Active MQ using Mule USB. So today we are going to see how to connect Topic and the Q using Mule USB. So what is difference between Q and Topic? Let me open the notepad and I will clarify the difference. Okay. For Q, there can be only okay. Suppose there can be on only one subscriber for each messages. Suppose somebody has published the message to the Q. It can be subscribed by one subscriber or consumer. So I will write one message published to Q can be subscribed by a single consumer or subscriber. A second difference is what is second like when message published to q it is not necessary for consumer or subscriber to be online or listening to q so here then suppose some publisher has published the message to the q it is not necessary that subscriber is continuously listening to that Q. Okay, so it means suppose somebody has published the message, a subscriber can find the message in the Q when he comes online or when okay when he will okay, when he will start listening to the Q. Now we will see topic. One for topic one message published to topic can be subscribe to one or more consumer or subscriber okay the thing is that suppose somebody has published the message to a topic it can be picked by a multiple consumer multiple subscriber or a one subscriber on consumer the second difference is when message published to topic Okay, it is necessary that all consumer or subscriber is is online or listening to Q. So, okay, suppose somebody has published the message to topic. It is necessary for all consumer to be online or listening to Q. Suppose there are three consumer. One of the consumer is offline, or is, it's not listening to topic. That particular consumer will not receive the message. The rest two will going to receive the message. We are going to see all these cases using the practical scenarios. Okay. First thing, let me install how to install a Apache Active MQ on your local machine, on your laptop or desktop. So go to Google, type Apache Active MQ getting. Started. Okay, so you can see this is the website. Click on this, getting started. So here you can see a lot of things. What are the pre-installation requirement? You can see hardware requirement. What operating system it can support? You can see environment. You will require the GRE 1.7 or greater. You have to set an environment variable like Java Home. Okay. Now next, you have to go to Windows binary installation if you are installing the Windows. So click on this download. Once you click on this download, it will install. A zip file okay i have already installed the zip file so i will sorry i have already downloaded the zip file this is my zip file apache active mq 5.14.5 this is my zip. then you right click and extract this file into some folder i have already extract in the uh, c drive okay now open the command prompt now we will going to start it so copy this path so make sure you are copying path one uh, one folder below bin copy that Say command from say paste okay paste it now okay so what is the first command we have used some commands I will write it command so I will say cd and paste okay the next command we have to uh, run the dot batch file so if you go to bin so you have to run this dot batch file active mp dot batch so before that make sure you have to do one setting 
go to conf folder conf go to notepad just active empty.xml okay just look for uh, let me wait okay look for management context and make sure create connector is true by default i think it's a false so make sure it is true check that in the file if it is false make it true go back now we have to run this file okay active mq.bat so what we will do we have to use say bin slash active mq one minute okay copy this Okay, this is wrong. That's fine. Uh, I have done it. I haven't copied it properly. Let me copy it now. Run it. Okay, this has been rained. Okay, now try to access your web application. It will not get accessed. By default, the port is 8161 when you want to run your web application. Okay, but when you want to connect to the MQ, it is 61616. It will not connect, okay, because we need to enable the MQ. So for enabling the MQ, we have to run this active MQ admin dot bed. How can you run that? Just copy the first one. Now say admin, say start. Okay, I will copy this. I will paste it here. Okay, I will say enter. Okay, it has been started. Now let me check if I can able to access a web application. Yeah, see so your active MQ is up now. Now click on this manage active MQ broker. You have to provide the username password. By default, it is admin. Admin. Say okay. Okay, let's wait. Okay, you can see all the details here. You have queues. Go to queue. Okay, I have already one queue. I will delete this one. Let me create a new queue. I will say test queue. Create. There is a zero number of consumer, zero message and queue. Everything is zero. Nothing available in queue. Let me go to topic. I will delete the one of the topic. Let me create a new topic. I will say test topic. Create. So you can see everything is zero. Number of consumer. Everything is zero. Okay, this is how you can install and enable start your active MQ. Okay, these are the set of three commands. These are only three commands you have to use. Let me create and go to any point studio. So first we will going to see a queue. Then we will going to see a topic. Okay, let me do the one thing. Let me file a new project. Let's wait. It will open a new dialog for you. So you can provide the application detail. Okay, so I will say. Apache Active MQ app. For runtime, I will keep it 3.8. In your environment, there can be a multiple runtime. You can select depending on your requirement. Okay. Rest of the setting, I'm not going to touch. I will say finish. Okay. So once I will say finish, it will create a, a, a empty application for you. Let's wait. What I have done, I have done mistake. Okay, I have to give a new application because I have given the existing application name. I will say Apache Active MQ Demo. Okay, I will say finish. Okay, this has created a empty application for you. First, I will drag and drop HTTP listener component. Let me configure it. I will click here. I will say connector configuration, add button. Keep all setting as a default. Say OK. In path, I can give MQ. OK. I want to post a message. I will say post. Next, next thing, search for GMS connector. This is my GMS connector. Just drag and drop. Okay. Try to configure it. Say copy queue. So what queue? I want to send message to test queue. Let me stop that. Caps lock. Test queue. Keep it one way only. Go to connector configuration. Select active MQ. Say OK. 
okay by default i have mentioned you if you want to connect to you it's 61616 okay it is same for topic also just i will give my pc name jitendra pc i will use specification 1.1 username is edwin password is admin say okay that's setting you have to do to connect you now finally i will say set payload okay i will say message publish to active thank you okay save the application just try to deploy once you deploy the application it will give a error i will show you how to resolve that error because you want to add some dependency so i will tell you what dependency you have to add it will fail so you can see some connection factory error see active mq connection factory because it is not getting this class so what you have to do go right click on the application go to build path configure build path go to add external jar i have already downloaded active mq all dot jar file so you can download it from internet open i will say okay now try to stop the application and build it again run it again let's wait while application is deploying okay this time application has been deployed now verify the queue how many messages in the queue there is not a single message fine simple what you have to do go to postman i have already set up everything this is my body i am going to send it i will say send okay i got a message message published to active mq let me verify active mq queue see there is a one message in your queue test queue fine one message has been enqueued nothing has been dequeued like this message has not been processed because no but no consumer is listening to the queue but i have initially i have told you okay it, when message published to you it is not necessary for consumer or subscriber to online or listening to you as soon as we will create a consumer flow okay it will pick the message from the queue let i will show you so let me drag and drop gms connector okay let me configure it keep it one way let me configure queue okay let me do connector configuration let me select active mq i will say okay let me change the local host to my pc name okay specification version 1.1 say username admin password admin say okay now what i will do i will drag and drop on file folder where we will is going to save a message for for that i have to create one folder into source test resources i right click new folder i can say out let me copy this much on the folder i will be requiring and it's a finish i will paste it here and i will say out okay i will save as soon as i will save it will deploy the application again okay let me refresh it out folder if i have received message or not okay see i have received the message but you you can see the some you know unwanted or character at the top we have received the message but i will show you how can you remove this character and let me verify active mq is message has been dequeued now see one message has been dequeued so what we have seen here see it is not necessary for consumer consumer to be listening to you when message published to the queue okay fine so let me do one thing we can see some unwanted character at the top how can we remove this let me remove this message first i will say okay you have when you send the message to the active mq or queue you have to con convert into a string so you can see object to string you can make use of object to string okay save the application go to console it will save the application for you okay let me send this message message has been published to active mq let me check there should be two messages okay the message has been enqueued and it as well as it is dequeued dequeued means the message has been picked by consumer refresh 
See, this time no unwanted character, very clear cut message. Fine. Now what I will do, I will change. I will now connect to the topic. So let me remove test queue. Instead of queue, I will use topic. Save application. Go to console. Let me click. Okay. Now send. Message has been published to active MQ. Okay. But what you have seen here. Okay. We have sent. Change the publisher flow to topic, but our consumer flow is still pointed to queue. It means whenever message published to the topic, there is no consumer is listening to the topic. Okay. So here what we have studied when publish message, it is necessary that all consumer can subscribe is online or listening to the sorry, it's not queue, it's topic. Fine. So in this case, we have published the message. Even we will make a consumer flow the previously. Message sent to the topic will not picked up, will not get picked. Okay, let me verify topic. If you can see any messages, yes, there is a one messages, and if you see there is a no consumer is listening. There is a one messages that is get enqueued. Okay, what I will do now? I will change my flow. Let me remove. Let me refresh and see out folder. There should be only one file. See, let me remove this also. Okay, here I will remove this. I will change to test topic. I will say test topic. Let me save. As soon as I will save, that message will not get picked up. Even there is a message available in the topic. As I mentioned, it is necessary for subscriber to be online or listening to the topic when message published to the topic. Let me check console. Let me refresh if I receive anything in the out folder. No, it should not. Let me refresh. The message is still enqueued. Now you can see there is a number of consumer one. Okay, let me send the message now. Okay, now two messages. See, there are two messages. One has been decoded. Which one? Which we have sent just now. So that decoded means the message is already picked by consumer. So we have to check that folder. See, the message has been picked up. Okay, we have seen lot of differences between queue and topic. Now other, we will try to create one more consumer. So as I mentioned initially. When message one message published to topic can be subscribed by one or more consumer or subscriber. Okay, so let me create search for GMS. I will drag and drop GMS at the end. Okay, let me configure it. Topic. I will say test topic. Fine. Let me configure it. Go to active MQ. In local host, specification 1.1, admin, tab admin. Okay, okay. I will delete the file from out folder. I will make one more folder. Okay, new folder, out one. Say finish. Okay. Now let me create a file. Connect. Let me configure it. Go to file. Go here. Here I will save into out one. Save the application. Let's wait while deploying the application. Let's wait. Okay. The application has been deployed now. Let me verify active MQ. There should be two consumer now. See two consumer. Okay. Let me send the message. Okay, if you refresh it, okay, message has been picked up. This time you can see message and Q3, DQ3, because the one message has been picked by two consumer. It means it has been, it is showing like it has been picked by two consumer. Refresh it, you will see the message in both folder. See, same message, right? So we have seen various differences between topic and Q. Now you know. How to use Active MQ topic and queue, and how you can connect using Mule USB. Okay, and also I have shown you how to install Active MQ on your local machine. Okay, if you like my video, just subscribe to it. Thanks for watching my video.